Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next up for you today we're going to be taking a look at another figure from the Clone Wars line. This time around it's the uh, pretty impulsive rogue Jedi Quinlan Vos. Now this guy has been eagerly anticipated in the Clone Wars line for quite some time and we finally got to saw this guy, got to see, got to saw, got to see, ugh, getting tongue tied. We finally got to see this guy in action um, during season 3 in I believe the episode Hunt for Zero in which Quinlan Voss and Obi-Wan Kenobi team up to hunt down the escaped Zero the Hut. So there is Quinlan Voss. Before I get onto the figure I'm going to give you a look at the packaging that he comes in. It's a bit dusty so I do apologise for that. Very cool image on the top of the packaging there of Quinlan Voss as he appeared in the Clone Wars. Very loosely based on the likeness of um, uh, Clone Wars crew member um, Dave Filoni. I forget in, I f completely forgot his actual specific role, but there you go anyway. On the back you've got a still image of Quinlan Voss from the episode, as well as an image of the figure, and the brief description below, which I'll quickly read to you. Quinlan Voss hunts for an escaped prisoner. The rebellious Jedi teams up with Obi-Wan Kenobi to search for Zero the Hut who has escaped from prison with the help of Cad Bane. Voss and Kenobi must get over their differences and work together if they hope to capture Zero and Bane and avoid an untimely end. So there we go. Um, obviously Quinlan Voss is a very well established character in the Expanded Universe um, and thankfully has, uh, sorry, Hasbro, Lucasfilm didn't really delve into his backstory in the episode because as I'm sure you all know you know, the Clone Wars does have a tendency for screwing up particular backstories for certain characters. Um, so I'm really glad that they didn't go in and diminish, you know, what had already been established as Quinlan Voss's backstory in the novels and comics and such like. So I'm glad they kept it minimal. But yeah, very cool appearance in the Clone Wars. And very nice to finally have a new version of this character. Um... For some strange reason, and I don't know why, um, Hasbro have decided to include this accessory, which is specified on the packaging as a speeder board, which we don't actually see Quinlan Voss use in the episode. Um, he does indeed clip into place on the speeder board, so you can have him look like he's zooming around. Um, I really I don't think I'm too keen on this accessory because it just kind of brings a sort of surfer dude attitude to this guy and that's not what he's about really. Yeah, he's rebellious. Yes, he's a rogue, but he's a bit darker than a yo man, let's jump on our surfboards and ride, ride the waves, you know, he's he's not that kind of character. He's not a fun-loving type of rebellious character. He's much darker. Um, as I said, in the already established expanded universe, um, Quinlan Voss comes extremely close to the dark side and is even a dark disciple of Count Dooku at one point. So, the the speeder board is a very unnecessary accessory in my opinion, and uh, really brings you know an unnecessary attitude to the figure and to the character as well. Um, on the plus side, what I actually like about the speeder board is the fact that you can take the lightsaber um, with its elongated hilt and all. As you can see, that's a massive hill for a lightsaber. Um, you can actually take the lightsaber out of Quinlan's hand and place it in a clip on the speeder board so you can fly around with it. So, uh, you know, all those undead genos that are wandering about are just going to get sliced in half when Quinlan Voss arrives. So that's pretty cool. Um, in terms of the actual figure, um, overall look and articulation is top notch. As you can see, he's got a very nice head sculpt. And the overall body of the figure looks very cool as well. Um, in terms of articulation, he has a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, um, silver wrist, silver waist, ball hinged hips, which is uh, becoming a common occurrence in these Clone Wars figures, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. So, very, very cool articulation. And as I said, the detail on this guy is top notch as well, even down to. Uh, his dreadlocked hairstyle. And as you can see, he's got numerous tattoos and uh, some nice decals on his armour there as well. 
So a very, very nice figure. Highly recommended if you can pick him up. Um, makes a great addition to your Jedi collection and uh, due to his you know, quite unique look, he brings something a little bit different to the table and he's uh, definitely a figure that's worth getting. So if you can find him, grab him. So there we go, that's Quinlan Voss from the Clone Wars line. And before I finish up with this review, I'm going to very quickly show you his battle game card and display stand. So there it is. So I hope you enjoyed having a look at this figure. And I'll be back with one more Clone Wars figure review for you next, and then it's on to vintage figures. So until next time, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.